Here we are, November 24th, 2019, Jeandarc Station on the Confederation Line East extension for Stage 2. So, if you've already watched the Orleans Boulevard video, this one's going to be sort of a repeat, more or less, because the station configuration, the way it's going to be set up, the way it's laid out, multitude of facts about it. They're almost going to be like brother and sister kind of thing. So we have, once again, a center platform going straight up the middle here. And then you have your westbound train, your eastbound train on both sides. They connect to the Jeanne d'Arc overpass, so there'll be an entrance like around, somewhere around there. There'll be an entrance on the opposite side, on both sides. Um, very similar, I can't emphasize that enough, to the Orleans Boulevard station and what else we will see is the transitway stops that have been historically at both ends of the on and on ramps of the station so here's the westbound transitway platform the opposite side is the eastbound this back over there somewhere back there I can't see it in the screen but it's out there those will probably see reduced usage if maybe not even completely be retired. And then looking this way, we're now looking westbound. So that's going to be going towards Montreal Road Station quite a bit off in the distance down there. It's about uh, three kilometers out. Station's going to be coming straight into the middle of the median here. Once again, like I said in the Orleans Boulevard video, it appears as though the road is separated wide enough on both sides that they won't have to do much, if anything, to fix the uh, lanes to give more room. There definitely looks to be quite enough room to make this all work. Same as in the drawings that we'll put up in a moment there for Orleans Boulevard. The, there's going to be outer perimeter walls, concrete on both sides that should extend up quite a bit to the edge of the road track will be on side here side here there'll be the platform going straight down the middle there'll be the exit coming right out onto the overpass here same again on the opposite side this time looking towards Place Orleans you can see the overpass and the station down in the distance and even before that Orleans Boulevard station probably about one and a half kilometers away fairly easy station I would think to construct uh, like I mentioned at the Orleans Boulevard one, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the overpass that's already in place here. Um, like, I don't know what the state of it is. It doesn't look too bad, but if it needs to be widened, again, the sidewalks aren't very wide here. Uh, they might choose or elect to do like a refurbishment, uh, a repair, or either a complete overall replacement. To extend it out more I'm not exactly sure what the plan is uh, but I guess we'll see that in due course um, same for Orleans Boulevard there's gonna be and again for lack of better words a porch so the station entrance will be like around here it's gonna extend out and then you'll have your entrance your fare gate the stairs the elevators to go down to the platforms it's the doors not gonna be right here it's gonna extend out a little bit sort of like a porch before going into the entrance and that'll be the same thing on both sides for the station and this station is important because one it serves the westernmost portion of Orleans but also you have the uh, recreation Bob Macquarie Center over there you have all the Orleans car dealerships over here and uh, a lot of population um, in, in this section of Orleans within minutes of the station just by walking. So definitely uh, a, a great addition. Not going to really change transit connectivity much for the people who live around here because they were already served pretty much in the same way by the existing uh, transitway bus service on both sides of the overpass. So this just brings them rail um 
but it should be quite nicely done once again another view looking into the median so you can see how it's going to be down there you can see one of the transitway buses going off towards Blair right now to connect with stage one LRT so lots to look at here obviously this site has more room um, and should be somewhat easier to accomplish because I, I don't think I mentioned it in the Orleans Boulevard video but the overpass Orleans Boulevard it doesn't go straight across there's actually a bit of a curve to it which adds a little more complexity like the the overpass has a bit of a bank to it and it curves slightly this one right here is pretty much a, a standard straight over uh, straight lateral overpass there's no curve there's nothing funny about it and there's more room on both sides so it should definitely be uh, easier I would think even ever so slightly than the Orleans Boulevard one to accomplish what needs to be done to get these stations built nice wide open lots of sunlight not too much shade around here so it should be a nice airy open O-Train station for people to transit through in the future.